I'm with Joseph. Hi. Cute. Sorry, I'm not getting you the camera. And then this one, which is kind of like Burberry esque. <laughs> Good morning everybody, welcome back to another vlog. Today I'm going into town with one of my close friends for probably the last time, well yeah it will be the last time for like over a month now that the new measure has been introduced so making the most of it and going quickly whilst we still can. We're going to nip to a really cool vintage shop there and he's got another vintage shop that he wants to show me that apparently is very cool. So I thought I would take you along with me because I actually really like looking in these shops. I think you can find some really really cute stuff. So yeah I thought I'd come and show you what we find or if we find anything cool in there because there's always some really cool little gems in there. It is a very gloomy day today but I think we're also going to try and shoot some blog pictures because again gotta seize these opportunities whilst you can because they're becoming very rare so yeah I'm gonna take you along with that too maybe hopefully show you a bit of behind the scenes of how I shoot my photos when I've got people with me etc etc just want to show you a little OOTD of what I'm wearing today this coat um, arrived Two days ago I think now, I ordered it from Stradivarius. I've been looking for a faux leather trench coat for ages, but I didn't want it to be like a light brown, like I wanted it to be like a dark chocolate brown. So this one came, it's absolutely gorgeous colour. So I thought I'd wear it with my Zara dress and then just some black boots. And I do love the look, but I'm not gonna lie. Oh, I don't know. I'm not sure about wearing it because I don't know if any of you guys have the same thing, but I don't live in like a massive city like London or something like that. And if you wear anything that's not like jeans and a top, you can just feel everybody staring at you. Like everyone stares you down and like looks at you like, whoa, what the hell is she wearing kind of thing? Um, because it's like out of the ordinary, I guess. So I'm feeling slightly nervous about wearing it, which sounds really stupid. Um... But I think I'm going to stick with it because I think it looks cute and I want to get some photos in it. So I'm just going to try and be confident and go with it. So yeah, I'm just going to go and pick up my friend Joseph now and I will catch up with you in a bit. We are here in town. I'm with Joseph. Hi. And we're just heading into our first shop. It's a really, really cute uh, vintage shop, which I've... Wait, is it definitely open? The door's shut. Yeah, it's open. Oh, okay, it's open. <laughs> I thought it was shut then. Um, but yeah, it's really, really cool. I'll show you the insides. Um, but we're going to see what we can find. I actually really like this. It really reminds me of something that Emma Ledger wore in um, one of her posts. I think it was something from Aritzia. I love the colour of it. I think this sweater vest is pretty cute for some reason. Like, I probably wouldn't wear it, but don't you think that design is just so cute? It actually kind of reminds me of the one, like the colours of the one in Zara at the moment. Anyway, not gonna get it, just think it's cute. Okay, first shop done. I didn't actually find anything, but isn't the shop so cool? Joseph found loads, as always. He's like the king of charity <laughs> shopping. And every time we go, like, we've actually tried to do this vlog before, Try to do it when we went um, to somewhere else. But I just found the shop so rubbish, so I didn't bother like finishing the vlog. But he found like Levi's jeans. It's a gift. Sorry, I'm not getting you in the camera. <laughs> I'm too sure. <laughs> um, yeah, he found like Levi's jeans, a really good like jumper and a blazer. Three pounds. Three pounds. For, the... for this. Oh, for that? Yeah. 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 He's just, 
he's just got it nailed. I, I need to learn. Oh my god, uh, it is fully Christmas, isn't it? All the star signs on it as well. Or maybe it's just... Yeah, it's a constellation. So when I was younger, we went to um, Toys R Us. You know, like, when you go to Toys R Us and you're allowed and you get one toy. Mm. I chose a glow. <laughs> what an awful choice. <laughs> what an absolute... Loser. <laughs> but now I low-key want one back. Like this one's nice. I bet it's expensive though, but it's like 40 pounds. 110 pounds. Oh 110 pounds. <laughs> <laughs> okay, a bit more than 40 pounds. Just got a quick Starbucks. We tried to go to a um, to another charity shop but um, it was closed, so our trip kind of got cut short um, a bit abruptly. That's okay, just chilling and getting some food. I've got a tuna melt, Nini, because I love it. So yeah, just gonna enjoy that. Okay, we are back now. Joseph just picked up a Five Guys, even though we're at Starbucks, but he's having that mm -hmm. for dinner. Nice, yeah. um, and it smells so, it actually smells really, really good. Can't wait to reset it. I'm, I'm really excited for you. Um, as usual, I didn't have much success in the charity shop, which is annoying. But somebody did. Yeah. Somebody got a thing. So I want to show you um, what Joe's got, because he got some, some cute little things. Oh my God, I forgot about that. I know, so did I. <laughs> oh, you can't really see. You can't really see it, I'm sorry. Like, this is my rubbish car light. Oh. But it's like a little. You got a cute granddad vest. I'm loving these right now. I am obsessed, as Same. you would say. I am <laughs> stunning, I am obsessed. And I've got some I scarves, I've got this one. Which totally went with his outfit today as well. And then this one which is kind of like Burberry-esque, <laughs> for like six pounds, which is nice. We love a Burberry moment. And a bath so, bomb, oh or yeah. some bubble bath. We went to Lush. Lush, I yeah. mean we never go to Lush, do we? No. Like, so rare, but we just thought, mm, why not? Today's the day. Yeah, and you can actually like go around touching things still. You have to just like wash your hands when you go in and then you can still smell it as normal although obviously you have to wear a mask mm. so it's quite hard we had yeah. to be like, <laughs> to like <laughs> you were really good though smell them. Um, yeah, but yeah smell so gonna head home now it feels like it's like 9 p.m but it's actually like five yeah, but that is so that is uk in winter oh running on battery so i'll catch you in a bit hi guys i am home now it literally feels like it's really really late but it's only six like it's not late at all but that is winter evenings for you i feel like because i'm in that wintry cozy mood i might run a bath because joseph inspired me after he went and got a bath bomb you know i actually don't know why i didn't get one in the end because i totally should have picked one up so i kind of regret not doing that but oh well um yeah i think i might do a face mask and like have a bath and just have like a cozy evening tonight the bath is now run we've got loads of bubbles in there i just used this uh, Radox stress relief stuff because it's always nice to have something relaxing and it smells really nice so I've got that and I was looking for a face mask to do and I found this one which I got ages ago which is literally like a it's like a DIY make it yourself mask like you've got the serum in there and then the mask there and you kind of like mix it together so I think I might try using that so I might do that on camera just to see what it's like and if it's even worth it or not Okay, so to be honest, I'm really not sure how to do this. I think it says that you have to roll it and then like squeeze this stuff into there. So I honestly don't know if it's gonna explode or what, but let's just try. It feels really wrong squeezing it. I 
literally, guys, nothing's happening. I must be doing something wrong. Which way? Do I roll it this way? We have lift off. Oh God, that's not a nice sound, is it? Okay, and now we're mixing it. Okay, now we're mixing it into the tissue part. It's a lot of serum. I feel like it's gonna be very wet. Right, open this. Oh God, oh God. Okay, I'm not gonna lie guys. I would rather buy a pre-coated mask than uh, have to do this myself. I get the novelty factor, <laughs> but this is just a lot of effort. Oh, oh my god. God, I look like a serial killer. Sorry if there are any children watching right now, they're probably absolutely terrified of me. <laughs> oh god, it's so good, it's so good, no lip. I'm smiling but it doesn't look like it, oh my god, what? So, this is all rubbed in. I am looking like an absolute weirdo, which must mean it's time to get in the bath. So, I will catch up with you after I've enjoyed my lovely bath. That bath was actually so, so nice. Like I've not had a bath in ages and I just forget how nice they are. Like, my muscles feel, like, there must be some something special in that Radox stuff because my muscles feel like, so relaxed. I could just fall asleep right now and it's about 7 p.m. So yeah, I'm feeling very, very zen and relaxed right now. Very, very glad that I did that and my skin is feeling, well, it's very shiny right now, but it's very smooth and soft, which we love to see. So I think I'm gonna end the vlog there. Thank you so, so much for tuning in and I really hope that you enjoyed watching. Sadly, it's gonna be the last vlog like this for a while because as we all know in the UK, we are going back into lockdown. So hopefully I will be able to do some other cool videos and maybe I'll be able to do some vlogs as well at home if I do anything fun, but yeah. Really hope you enjoyed coming thrift shopping with us. If you did, then pretty please don't forget to like this video and maybe even click the subscribe button to join my lovely little YouTube family. I'm gonna go get a hot chocolate now and just chill out for the rest of the evening. So I will say good night and hopefully I will see you in my next video. Bye.